What we're going to focus on in this part of the lesson, obviously we've done attack, so we're going to do defence in this part. So everyone, does everyone have a general idea on the setup that we want to do for the defence? Yep, because we've done it before. Alright, so just the general position that we're going to sort of set up when the ball's in transition from, let's say, we, we might have given a free ball over to the other team. This is, the, this is how we want to set up as the ball is going over. Yep, so when we're served. So when, when we, or even when, yep, when we serve. So you've served the ball, the ball's in play over there. This is how you want you to first set up is like this. Does everyone understand what that means? So you've got your defender one who would have been the server. You block her out of position two, block her position three, block her position four, defender in position five, and your defender in six. So what we've done before is we've played with the six up here, so we're going to still stay with that six up positioning for the defence because everyone understands that. So, um, Just a few things I want to touch on in regards to a blocking point of view. What are some things that we've really focused on getting blockers to do? What's something that we want, want them to do? Shoulder. What was that? Shoulder to the shoulder. What do, we, what, do we, what do we call that? Double block. That is, a double block is what we want to focus on. But what do we call if players are shoulder to shoulder? doing a block, what, what is it actually called? It is, we say it's something, the block. Closing the <laughs> Nah, that is right, closing the block. Because, do you think that's gonna have more benefit for your team if you have got your two blockers, arm arm, next to each other, rather than that much gap? South area and area. Yeah. Well, it's one flat wall, there's no holes in it, so you can't get through it. Exactly, so less idea, chance anyway. for your attacker to hit through that block if you've got it closed up. So <coughs> that's what we want to try doing every every chance. <coughs> We're actually going to look at, for this specific part of the, the uh, lesson, or as we move into it, we're going to incorporate a block coming out of three. So in this, in this opportunity, we're actually not going, to, we're not going to focus on doing a double block. We're going to focus on doing a single block, but a positioning around the court for the other players getting the best position to get the ball up. So um, the focus is also on your backcourt players getting in the correct position. So what's a few things we want a, your backcourt players to focus on if they're setting up? Where's one position that's really key in regards to if the block's coming out of here, which would be your position four and you've got two blockers here, what's a key point around here that we might want someone to do? Covering the line. Perfect. What do they need to do if they're covering the line? Uh, they need to cover that line on the side where the blocker is. What, what's one thing they might do if they're covering the block to really identify that they're actually right near the line? Move up. Put their foot on the line. Put their foot on the line. What does that give them the ability to do? If the ball comes past, they are able to... Judge. Yeah. Yep. There's something that the word is called if they can actually watch the ball go out. They can... <laughs> see. Track. Tracking. They're able to track the ball and no, they know, yep, my leg's on the line here. If the ball's coming here, all right, it's not going anywhere near me, it's coming straight out. So that's one thing we want to focus on the line play doing. We're going to play the six up position where that person can move up and down. Traditionally, most other volleyballers, like I know Kirk and Lauren and stuff, are used to the six player not being the six up, but we are used to that, so we're going to get that going. Um, I'm going to get someone to come up, and I might get Joel, you to come up, and draw on here. <coughs> Where you might move a book, so we've got a hit coming out of here, so we want a double block coming from position four, I want you to draw the position of the court where you want your people to stand. And just put, you can put crosses, that's fine if you want. Covering that cross court, D5. Yep. Oh, sorry, Dave. I was thinking that was a little bit. That's my bad. That's all right. Are you good? Dave, five. Then, let me cover that. Six. Six. Third back. Third back. Feel free to talk to him as he's doing the back because they can run forward. Make sure you got the seat. Make sure you got the double blockers in place. Double blocks there. Okay. Then I'll show you the back. Don't you want someone, Dave, cross court? And the back corner, back right corner-ish area, right? Yeah. Covering those tip yeah. balls. Yeah, so but in a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
like if you, so yeah, like here. behind, yeah, yeah a diagonal line behind B2. Uh, is that B? So, okay. so what do we think of this? Any changes we want, mate? Like is this okay? D1 up. Uh, yep, so you want D1 up to about here? Uh, or is that yeah. too far? I think that's a bit too Oh, <coughs> because what yeah. happens if you've got... Yeah, about there. What about B2? Anything that B2 might... Maybe a bit more off to the, the right corner. Over here?